Alright guys, so I was on my way home, but I couldn't get the scooter started, so I've stopped. And uh, I'm here on Tamiami <laughs> 41, which is the main road, which is very well lit. And I am doing what is called in the bike world a heavy walk <laughs> back to my house because I believe that my scooter battery is dead or dying or just not enough to start the machine. So what I'm doing right now is I am huffing it all the way back to my house. I, there's only a couple more blocks left, you know, I'm not very far from home at all. So. But, uh, it's tough times, tough times in the scooter world, and, um, it's gonna be just fine. It's like a nice flat plane, like, all the way from here to my house, so that's good. And the scooter has been relatively easy to push. This thing weighs about 250 pounds, so I'm glad that, like, I'm a walker and I go on walks, like, a lot, because otherwise I probably wouldn't be able to handle this. This is the second heavy walk that I've done, um, since I've had this scooter, and, uh, it's gonna be alright. We're gonna make it. Uh, I'm gonna have to go to Bob tomorrow and get a new battery. That is for sure. Yeah. So, um, I will catch you when I get home. Alright guys, so I did make it home. Whew. And I'm sweating. And, uh, it's crazy. That is, uh, wow. It's been a long time. It's been years since I've done a heavy walk with my scooter like that oh my god and uh wow i'm right-handed of course so i have to have the bike on the right hand side of me which is where all the kickstands and the kickstarters are and everything like that so i'm sure the back of my right shin tomorrow is just going to be like bludgeoned with bruises because my leg just like smacked against them so many times let me tell you, if you're a scooter owner, it is a spiritual experience to have to heavy walk your bike anywhere, you know, because it's all you. And like, it's a flat plane, so the bike picks up momentum, and it's like, aside from pushing a 250 pound bike down the sidewalk, you also have to keep up with the speed that it creates. So you're like speed walking while pushing a very heavy object. <sighs> like, I'm just so glad that I got through it and I was able to get home. It really, like it seems funny, but it is like, it means a lot to me that I didn't leave my scooter downtown. I mean, like, your scooter honestly becomes like a friend, you know? And if your friend was drunk and in a bad way downtown, you wouldn't just, like, leave them on the street or, you know, along the curbside or whatever to just sleep there overnight. You would take them and haul them home, you know? Which is what I did for my scooter tonight. <laughs> Needless to say, I will be calling Bob in the morning about my battery because ultimately I think that that's what it is. The battery is from 2009, so it's probably the battery. That's what I'm going to guess. So, oh gosh, what more could just break for me this week? Seriously. Something else? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe next my apartment will catch fire? I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm going to sign off because I'm exhausted. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And jump on the love train with us. Woo woo! We have some hard times around here sometimes, but it's okay. Uh, also, follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash lilhipster. You can also find me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. And with that, I'm going to pass out from exhaustion, all right? So everybody have a great night, and don't forget to eat your fruits and vegetables, because you'll need them. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.